Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing a chi-squared test for goodness of fit for a uniform distribution, which means all the probabilities or all the expected values will be the same. So when you're rolling a die, uh, all these probabilities should be the same. It should be the same probability of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, and that probability should be 1, 6. Uh, but let's start with the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, as you should always do. Uh, and the null hypothesis is always the same that uh, the, or maybe in this case it's dice rolls. So, uh, yeah, the, I'll say the dice rolls. These particular die rolls satisfy a uniform distribution. And the alternative hypothesis is always that they do not. The die rolls do not satisfy satisfy a uniform distribution. So we've gotten all an alternative hypothesis done. Uh, then we need the uh, expected frequencies. Okay, the expected frequencies or the expected probabilities. Okay. The expected probabilities, uh, both of those work, okay? But your probabilities do need to add up the one, so no, no rounded probabilities can be in this one right here. So the probabilities are obviously going to be one-sixth each. And the expected values, if you do 300, 300 times one-sixth is 50. So you can put in 50 for your test. Okay, so these are the calculator steps on the HP Prime. Uh, we're going to go to Apps, so Apps Inference, and we're doing a goodness of fit. We do count if we want to type in these numbers, or probability if you want to type in these probabilities. I usually do count if I can. Then we go to Num, and then we need to type in the probabilities. I'm going to clear these. And type in the observed list is 35, 52, 47, 71, 62, 33, and the expected values are all 50. Be very careful you don't make a typo. And check over your data, and then you click calc, and it gives you a chi squared value. It gives you the p value and df if, in case they ask you for that. That's always the number of number of rows minus one. Okay, so we have the chi squared calc. Let me write this down. Chi chi squared calculated is twenty two point two four. Twenty point twenty four point two four. Just one second. Okay, and that is greater than the critical value. You always compare that to the critical value. And the p-value is also on your calculator at 0 0.000471, which is very tiny. It's smaller than the significance level. We always compare it to the significance level, right? And then remember the, the rhyme. If chi is high or p is low, reject HO. The p is indeed low. It's lower than the significance level. So, uh, therefore... Uh, if P is low, reject HO, so we do reject. We have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, okay, so we reject the null hypothesis. That means the, the die rolls do not satisfy a normal or a uniform distribution. The, the die rolls do not satisfy a uniform distribution.